This is John at Tutu One Two. The best news today. I've got this is my fourth visual basic tutorial, and it's the final one that I'm going to do um, today. I mean, not today, in uh, like continuously. And this is how it's going to look like. It's kind of cool. And yeah. So let's just. So here's the preview, I'll go ahead and run it. This is just a quick preview from now on, now my visual basic, um, there will be always previews and as you can see here, it has detailed things, as you can see here. And we can go ahead and end the process of me in, and then it just ends it. So but from there, not from this notepad document anymore, so yeah. So first what you want to do is you're going to open a new project. Make sure it's a Visual Basic Windows Form application. You can rename it to whatever you want. I'll just do... Uh... Here. Now once the form's loaded up, you're going to click the form and change the text to whatever, so I'll just do task manager. Now it can resize that to whatever, and then you can scroll up as usual, make maximize box as false, and make, uh, sorry about that, make, uh, Sega. All right, make form border style, which is right here, as fixed 3D as usual. Now what you want to do is you can add a status strip. All right, wait first a list view. So you're going to list view right there. Uh. Now you, what you're going to do is you're going to add two buttons. So one will be refresh, and the other one will be end process. So done and. You can change the color to whatever you want. I'll just change it to something light like that. And we're just going to squeeze this. All right. We're going to add a stat strip. So, stat strip right here. Just going to move these up a little. And now we are going to, sorry about that, now what you want to do is you're going to go to view, I mean click the list view and go to view and change that to details. Now what you want to do is you're going to go to uh, grid lines and make that true. And now what you want to do is you're going to go to columns and you're going to click that thing, you're going to add one. Now once you add one you're going to go find text and name, second one will be RAM, you can choose, I'll just do memory. Wait, what was the first one? We're going to add another one, and we're going to add another one, and finally,
final one is ID. So that's it. Now, as you can see here, we can go ahead and resize them like so. Okay. So, alright, sorry about this, but you're going to change this one to responding. Sorry. Or whatever you really like, there's no real matter. Change the I keep changing the sizes to your liking until it fits perfectly. Now for the coding, you're going to double click the form. Except something wrong. What the beep? Alright, sorry about that. Um, I'm just going to. At the status bar, you're going to click this little arrow here, and you're going to make it to status label. Now you're going to name that as, I'm going to write the text as, um, uh, number or processes or just processes, I'll just do that. Equals zero, you're going to type equals zero or whatever. Now what you want to do is you're going to go to the form and now it's all correct. So this is pretty self-explanatory so that's a blah blah blah. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to bother to explain to you. First we'll save that. I don't want to lose all that progress. So now we're going to double click the end process button and the coding should look something like this. So, yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Refresh should look like form one dot. So it refreshes. That's it, guys. So here's the final thing that we've got. A perfectly working task manager. So as you can see here, it lists all the processes. And you can go ahead and refresh that. It works and we can end any process that you want so as you can see I have a task manager here if we go ahead and end that process it closes so yay <laughs> thank you for watching be sure to like this video subscribe and there's no question of the day from now because no one answers them thanks for watching